Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. Here I have a very quick lesson for you on rigid bodies and more specifically, what is the kinematic option? So here I have my zigzag project open from our zigzag tutorial series. And in this project, I have these platforms which have rigid bodies and I have the is kinematic option enabled. And basically what the is kinematic option does is it makes it so that these objects won't move until I disable this option. And these objects won't move even if you have using is gravity enabled or if another object collides with them. And so to demonstrate, I'm going to click play. And here you can see how our ball object, which also has a rigid body, but is not kinematic, fell down with gravity and collided with our platform, but our platform didn't move, even though it has a rigid body on it. But if I select one of our platforms and I disable the is kinematic option, you can see how it falls with gravity. And when I select the platform that is below our ball object and I disable its kinematic option, then our ball and platform fall with it. Now this is a pretty cool feature for the 3D rigid body component because sometimes you want an object to move and other times you want that object to be stationary depending on what's happening. And so for this example, we want each of the platforms to be stationary until the ball touches a platform and then leaves the platform. This will make it so that as our ball is rolling down this path, all of the platforms behind the ball will be falling as soon as the ball leaves the platform, which will give our game somewhat of a fake sense of fear. And it actually reminds me of a part of an older video game that I used to play. I'm sure there's a bunch of other examples out there, but that's the one that I could think of. Now that's everything that I'm going to cover in this very short lesson on what you would use the is kinematic option for. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. In fact, there's a couple videos right over here that you might enjoy.